We've hit new lows! <laughs> oh f Can you get it? There's a Ben and Jerry's one by f Oh, absolutely bang my mouth. <laughs> I'm back on it, guys! Oh, sorry, no, they can't because the copyright's always called Len and Jenny's. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds like a slang term for Len and Jenny's. You ever stared a field for long enough? <laughs> yeah! He goes, oh, look at some of these wee tiny ripped girls that look like a wee Jack Russell. And you're like, what's their folly like? He goes, is it like a wishbone out of a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> you just see the wee golf course roll on top of it. You probably don't put your face down. No, but if they did, why, why would they put your face, face down? Ass up, that's the way I like to get zipped up. <laughs> King now eats up to four rolls of toilet paper per day. What? I mean, you never have to wipe your ass again. It's almost 14,000 pounds over the past 20 years. You're <laughs> night to wipe. No! Ladies and gentlemen, Bomb Squad Podcast. No one else can hear the buttons. It's all good. <laughs> Look at them chops. Things, I, uh, things have changed around here. The Patreons are going up, and I will not do anything ever again that doesn't involve uh, Supreme Chopsticks. <laughs> Today's podcast is brought to you by Supreme Chopsticks. Uh, Supreme. Uh, what a lovely gift from Kyle. Thanks now. Thoughtful. And then he told us there were two quid. And then I bust them open. I thought they were clackers items. But I will be doing everything with the chopsticks. <laughs> I can't wait to eat a fucking can of John West tuna with them. Oh, why? Oh, why? Seamless. I'll take my sneezes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, looks like he pulled it out of a wound. It's going back. Plenty of life left from that. Go on, get us one. Go on, get one. I gave one to William Thompson yesterday. I near killed it. He was throwing up. i will probably make me a book too. Sure I thought he was being dramatic, but he was actually, he was actually going like, you know, doing the burps. Like, the, uh. <laughs> but I'm a different person now. I'm off the vapes. I know. I've changed. You've changed your vessel of nicotine. I'm, I'm the worst, aren't I? They actually do smell like rotten cacks. I know, but that's why it's nice. Stuff it in your mouth. Mm, pretend you're somewhere it's else. Fermented ball bag. Well, what are you wearing? What are you eating fellas cacks for? Let it sink. They're not as burny as the mint ones now. Like the ones we had the time me and Mickey did a podcast. Aye. Yeah, they were hell on earth. They're the good ones, but that's, what, that, that, that's the time. one Willie was in the toilet fucking... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. How bad are they, Pete? I, I don't know. Like, it depends if you're doing like a, a like 60 of them a day. I'm sure it's not good to go oh, through your body. The heat's turning up now. The heat's turning up yeah, now. The fucking bergamot wild berry. Getting to uh, hob level four in these. Aye. Let it cook. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If you're here for a podcast and you want more podcasts, get yourself on to patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod. There will be a bonus episode for every fucking regular episode you hear. Isn't that right, Arn? He's right. He's uh, no I, 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 would, I wouldn't lie to you now. I wouldn't lie to you. Patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod and you get early access to tickets and stuff for live events and probably merch and all that business. You lose money not getting them. You lose money not getting them. And it's only nine grand a month. I'm die the worst for like, I'll be off the vapes for about four days now and I'll just immediately be on my high horse. Now you're a pouch guy. <laughs> I'm a pouch guy, but I'll be like fucking anti-vape propaganda. <laughs> it's killing you. <laughs> Out there. I know okay. I felt judged today just smoking in your car. I know, but you're the worst. You smoke, you have no respect for anyone's surroundings. Yeah. <laughs> like I, in my own car, I'll, I'll vape and put the window down, like, blow it out the window and he's just like, you try to drive there? Yeah, my vape etiquette isn't great. Your vape etiquette isn't great. You vape the way you just live your life. Yeah. Leaving, leaving shit everywhere. <laughs> Look at the laugh. Literal <laughs> shit. You're going full Popeye trying to laugh for that in. It's not going to fall out. Like, <laughs> he's like... <laughs> <laughs> Keep it in there, Grinch style, you know what I mean? Keep that lip packed. I had my, I had my Popeye sponge today. Chicken bits. <laughs> oh, yeah. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> Full breakfast deli, and he's like, "Give six chicken nuggets." Yeah, breakfast the Hallions <laughs> went straight in the center deli. It was like, "I give us six baits." <laughs> breakfast the Hallions. <laughs> That's the name of the podcast already. You feel weird calling them nuggets. I just was like, "I give us six chicken baits." Well, she was foreign, so you could have said anything. Yeah. You know, B fresh sandwich on deck for the big man. Too. Aye, that's what you do. You ask for an egg, and she puts it on fresh. Got a fresh egg and a egg in the bap. Yeah, Alan Partridge style. Yeah, Ellen, you want an egg in the bap? Yeah. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Breakfast the champion. Yeah, I mean, did, we, did you not fancy any actual breakfast items? Nah, man. Protein. Have you... Bro have you <laughs> <laughs> protein. <laughs> Deep fried protein. Isn't, yeah. it, isn't it amazing how DJ Khaled is like a multi-millionaire and he's actually has a learning dis disability? Like, 
Take two on that. <laughs> what a great word to fuck up. Yeah. Learning this a little bit. <laughs> It's the name of the podcast, Learning This Again Little Bit. Burning This Little Baldy. Uh, but the guys, see when the guy like brings out the dinner and it's like, we got some shrimp something and he goes, you ever play rugby? It's a great icebreaker though, to be fair. Yeah. You just know? panics. It's just a woman bringing you a beautiful seafood dish and you're like, what, what was but your... But you, I know what you did this morning. Do you remember the time you, you said you panicked somewhere and you were like, can I just get a... What, what, did you not have like restaurant panic one day? Every time I order food, it's panic. Every time what? I order a food, it's a freestyle. What was the one you were on a date and you just panicked and went, can I just get... Oh, plain crap? A plain crap. He's in a crap shop. That's but right. It was at like a crap place where there was like you know, <laughs> 200 options and this doll had been there before. So she got like the nutty supreme, which is like Reese's Pieces <laughs> and all this bullshit. <laughs> Did you give her the nutty supreme? No, I didn't. Her. No, I didn't. She didn't even fucking leave me home, the bastard. Yeah. She didn't leave you home. <laughs> I had to get an Uber. <laughs> Run past I was in LA. Fake, fake taxi, the outtakes. <laughs> a fake you, taxi. You just had to set. The outtakes is he actually just leaves them open. <laughs> fake taxi, B roll. You just in the back. It's just left up here, mate. I think. I don't know. I never look out the window when I'm in cars. <laughs> you, just, you just switch off second you get in that car. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't tell you where anything is. I could tell you where from like local businesses, but if you don't have any businesses near your house, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Yeah. You know, I know how to get tears up until the bus stop, and that's it. Yeah, just up the motor. Where's Colin? Up the motorway. Yeah, I still couldn't tell you how to get tears. I have no idea. And I've been there like forty times. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's. Yeah, I feel like that's what you did at the deli. Just panicked. I went, oh, chicken bites. Well, I was looking and I was like, oh, this is all gonna. This is all stuff to put in a bap. And I was like, I don't want to have a bap, so I'll just have you know. Just get a nine-piece fry, no bap. Yeah. Beans, sausage, various other bits. Yeah, it's starting to. What? It's starting to cook up now. Is it heating up? Mm hmm. You see, they're, they're, they're mild, those ones. No, they can't, they you, can't do that. You need the spicy ones? Yeah. Okay. Well, them last ones you took were the spicy ones, and they were, that was too much. If it's weird, though, you get into it. You know? It's like having an old choke wank. You get, you're like, oh, sting me more. Is this you now? You're a pouch guy? I'm a pouch guy. Nicotine's great. How long is this addiction going to last for? Forever. <laughs> Sure, you're like, did you ever try those Zins? And I was like, I've 10 of them in the post. I know. I bulk bought them. What flavor did you go for? Barry for DPD's come. Uh, a Barry boy who works for DPD, flat out, man, around the country. That's rare you get a Barry for DPD. Oh, no, Barry's every time. Barry's every time for you? Yeah. I was like, there's no way he's working every day. He's like Santa. Yeah. You're like, how does he deliver that much fucking shit? There's your Zins, lad. <laughs> laugh as fuck. And a Red Bull. The boys are on a health kick. No wonder you're getting bruises on your fucking arms out of nowhere. No, Sh- look at that there. Show everyone the bruise. I mean, that looks like you got a fucking punishment beaten and you don't even know where that came from. Well, you're into what you're into, you know. Huh? Yeah. What? You, you need to know what you're into? You're into, you're into what you're into. Aye. Uh, I wish it was... What, what about them dudes that are just into being dominated by women? Yeah. Bit up and neither spat of us, on. And neither, of, neither of us make enough money to be into that. Hey, good luck dominating me, you know. You offer yourself up for it. No, you'd have to, you'd have, you know, that's a free you woman job. You don't go in their room with a dominatrix, the dominatrix and be like, do your worst. I'd fucking hit her back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hit her back. <laughs> this does turn me into all about the bar immediately. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, he's part of the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Just terrible jokes. Oh, yeah. Um, Those are the best guys to talk to after gigs. Is a guy that's like wandered up to a comedy gig upstairs in a bar because he goes to that bar all the time. Yeah. And then he's around the corner telling you jokes. What's all this here business? Me and you did a hometown gig the other day. Yes. We did Daily's Comedy Club in Oma. Free pizza. Free pizza from fucking, what's this place called? Fade or something? Fire and Fade. Dace Pizza. Oh, I got that right. Dace Pizza. Yeah, it was. Uh, you Oma did, is the Mecca for pizzas. It is. It's weird. You know, it's like Naples and Oma are yeah. the two places you want to go. And New York City. That's, There's literally now about 12 pizza places in Oma. Like, you'll move to New York and they'll be like, oh, you got to try this. And you'll be like, you got to try Pizza Mac or, uh, or something. I said that one time. I Did was you? Like, yeah, I was like, fuck your New York pizza. Do you say it to Joe from Joe's Pizza? No, I said it to... Come here, you, you fucking useless bastard. Have you ever had, like, Giuseppe's? Like, man, there's no way the best pizza is in Omaha. And I was like, no, 100% it is. <laughs> it actually is. This is a load of shit. There are no garlic mayo or fuck all out there. Ranch? Yeah. Get the fuck with that. Ranch is good, though. I like ranch. That's garlic mayo without the crack. Mm. 
just mm. creamy oil sauce. Although your man's your man's garlic sauce the other day felt like it it was like it had like ricotta or something in it. Yeah, there was, was something was fancy. Very in smooth and bu- like creamy. El fancy stuff. El fancy stuff in between gigs. Nothing like doing a gig. Now the first show, terrible, absolute. It was like they came from a wake. Yeah, and then the second gig was off the it charts. Was a w- wake energy for sure in the first. Wake one. energy, and then but but like, do you think that's early gigs? I think it's early gigs because I was definitely saying some things where I was like. I, I shouldn't be saying these till it's I shouldn't be saying this till it's dark. There's nothing that degrades the comedy like, though being like ah oh, you know now they've a few more pints in them they're good to go. I, now they won't remember anything they're gonna laugh their bollocks off. <laughs> now that they've been inebriated by harp they're good to go. Mm. Poor harp on a few shout out to harp sponsor the podcast. Uh, yeah poor harp on any of your problems. Yeah <laughs> it'll fix it. <laughs> stop I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How long are you supposed to give us in for? Just probably like 15 minutes. You'll feel it, just not do anything after a while. Yeah. And then you're like, I just have a tea bag in my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. So we, uh, you're onto the pouches. Onto the pouches. Do you miss the vaping at all? Yeah, yeah. Do you miss the vape life? My, my body my body clock is still, like I'll wake up in the morning and be like, oh, when do I get the vape? And yeah. then I remember I'm not vaping. You're a vape niche alumni. You know, you've moved on now. I still wake up. Postgrad? Yeah, you're a postgrad vape. <laughs> Completed it, maybe? I do. I do. Uh, whenever you were saying though, like you were only off at one day, and you're like that feeling of tiredness isn't there. I yeah. got real jealous of that. Yeah, you, I was like, yeah. You I, I think you can. You can. You can. Ha- you know, you can have like a caffeine crash. Yeah. I think you can have a vape crash. You can have a blue raz crash. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A <laughs> blue raz crash for the past two years. <laughs> a blue raz coma. A strawberry kiwi. A strawberry coma. <laughs> we not vaping something Saturday night. It was called like fucking strawberry strawberry jam. jam? <laughs> I swear to God. Just people sitting in the vape office going, what tastes nice? Every Strawberry time jam? I, I will do that. Every time I think I'm out of the game, they pull me back in. <laughs> strawberry jam is class, though. Well, they just have to really simplify it for the, the cultures. Oh, wow. Do you like strawberry jam? I'll get out of it. What do you see? I'll get off vaping, and they'll release, like, a McFlurry one or something. I'll be back, straight back in. What's your What's your real, like... If I was a dragon's den for like if you like if you were if you were like on a bodybuilding shred, what's the one thing you're like, man, I can't have said thing. What do you mean? If I was on a bodybuilding shred, like are we Achilles heel of like tasty things? Oh, probably cheesecake. Mm. Uh, I do. I'm fond of a cheesecake now in my time. Do they do a cheesecake vape? Google that. Buried many of Errol Mint cheesecakes in my time now. Mint arrow, che- arrow mint, mint arrow cheesecake, cheesecake vape. We've hit new lows. <laughs> oh fuck! Can you get it? There's a Ben and Jerry's one by fuck. Oh, absolutely! Bang my mouth. <laughs> I'm back on it, guys. Oh, sorry, no, they can't because the copyright so is called Len and Jenny's, <laughs> <laughs> which sounds like a slang term for Jenny's. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, sir! The test results back, man. You get the Len and Jenny's. <laughs> Atlanta Jenny's is tearing you up, man. <laughs> yeah, Hipster talk, man. <laughs> they do do that, though. You know, they go in, you're like, what flavor is this? Like, Rage Bull. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Crazy Cola. Well, there we go. There's a nice strawberry cheesecake <laughs> on there now. But, oh, fuck, that's a CBD one, too. That's dangerous. Oh, God. You talk about a crash. Yeah, vaping drugs that taste like cheesecake. Yeah. You go straight for the cheesecake. <laughs> You'll just be able to get it all in one. And then Aroma King, they've, they've wisened up to and they've released a the blueberry cheesecake one. And then finally we've got, oh fuck y'all. Oh, that's just shisha. Rotten. But yeah, no, it's been done. The New Yorker cheesecake too by Diamond Must. Diamond Mist. Yeah. Unbelievable. There is, someone's going to step in very soon. I feel like it's already in progress. They're working on something right now to get rid of these things. To get rid of the disposables. Uh-huh. Yeah, 100%. Do you have two in, bro? Oh, yeah. You can't... Everything has to be in excess. Who's got... <laughs> who's got a... Ca- everything has to be in They don't know me, son! <laughs> they don't know me, son! I, I, <laughs> they'll do, like, thing. a Comedy Central-style documentary about the Northern Ireland comedy scene. You know the way people talk about each other in those, like, corny American documentaries? Like, Yo, get us, man. He didn't do anything half matches, man. You walk <laughs> into the podcast, you that motherfucker had two pouches in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker two zins in. <laughs> Yeah, you just all saw. Yeah, I'll, be, I'm, I'll obviously be dead. Yeah, you'll be like, he just whatever you were doing, he did it twice. <laughs> you know, overkill is right. See now that one of them YouTube videos where it's like they're asking like deep existential questions. One of them was, would you rather have 
a man or a woman by your side in your deathbed. But I think it, it's different if you're married or in a relationship, obviously. Uh, if you, yeah, if you were married, you'd be like, I'll take my wife there. Yeah. And give her one last bit of shit before I die. I think I would want someone to just, just to tell me stories and distract me. Last breath. This is probably your fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's been mainly the stress being around you. You gave me this heart attack. Yeah. It's yeah. not extension in the kitchen that put me over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that is an off mic topic. <laughs> we'll be, do you reckon you'd have enough, you know, if you were filled with enough drugs and you, you were aware you were taking your last breath, you'd just be like, pull my finger. Or, you know, like something silly. Yeah. I was like, I was listening to that. You'd be like, look at this. Oh, God, you. <laughs> Dead. And you know, when people like, you know, the kind of, the movie ending you want for someone's life is to be like, I love you. Yeah. It's their last breath. Imagine you're just like, I was never that fond of you. <laughs> And then just passed away into the yeah. after. He's like, can I get some up, dog? What's up, dog? What's up with you? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like wine gums? What? Then wind your gums around this. Dead. Here before I go, make sure to say these. These are these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. You want one last <laughs> iterate before you go, you know, uh, and then you're into the afters. Yeah. We have them. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven is the afters life, you know. <laughs> the after party. Yeah. Yeah. I'm stopping off in purgatory for 12 warm cars, and then I'm away into the afters. If you could design your own heaven, what does it look like? <laughs> you know, if, if you get up there and Pete's like, listen, this is actually a subjective experience, so you just get to design it. Pete? We'll make it for you. Hey, Peter at the gates. <laughs> I'm like, I'll go Pete. <laughs> I know Pete at the door. So we'll get in. No bother. You're on the guest list. Pete, lad. Uh, I've been a bad pup. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I put these pouches? <laughs> would you, if the vapes were killing you, would you stop? They are. W- w- you know, like, you know, like if they turn around, and you're like, your lungs are like two bags of butter, butter kissed. <laughs> what do you call that shit? Popcorn night. Yeah. Uh, would you, would, and then the, you have to live the rest of your days in hospital. Would you just be like, I'll just fucking vape it, vape it till the wheels come off? No, I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to have like, I'm going to try and get off nicotine in general. So I'm going to do like, might do, you know, when I go to Hawaii, have one last bite on the beach, just look out in the water and then be like, right, listen off my can. Yeah, this is it. Is that what you're waiting for? Time to retire. The existential moment. Yeah, I'm just waiting for one last nice cigarette, maybe a cough at my hand, and then be like, right, I've had my fun. When the glory of nature hits you, and you're like, what am I doing with yeah. my body? Oh yeah, this is my vessel that I need to get through life. Nature will have you thinking. You ever stared a <laughs> field for long enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every day at my house. Oh, you got them. You got them on deck. You got them at the house. Oh, I. I have to walk for a good field. Yeah, I got fields on deck, man. Yeah. You do? Uh, Various amounts of fields. Uh, uh, when a wee bit of sun comes out, sometimes you stop and go, this place is lovely. Oh, why? You know, it is lovely. But that's that's the annoying part. Why can't why can't life be like that all the time? Where you're like, you know what? I'm in this current moment right now, and it's nice, and it's good, and there's nothing really to worry about. Fields and cheesecake will get me like that. I'll have a cheesecake, and I'll be very present for it. Well, imagine you just one evening, had a nice dinner, got the children to bed, and took a wee slice of cheesecake out to my garden. Yeah. And the wind's sh- moving the trees a wee bit and the light's coming through. I tell you what's very you'd fucking... Be, you'd be bricked up for nature. The Talk about bricked up. See it at your house, the view of the stars. Oh. <laughs> you were saying that house? You'd have to put that in the description. <laughs> stars are not... Yeah, don't look down. I don't look down at the minute. The house is a disaster. Yeah. Boy's pulling the roof, pulling the roof off. Ah, you're getting work done. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you make any small talk with the... Well, it's Frank, isn't it? It's Dutch Frank. Oh, Mor- yeah, yeah, okay. so I'm just usually like... Do you want coffee? No. You don't have any other boys coming in today? No. Ah, there's some other boys come in, though. But builders are very, like, uh, you know, you think they're all going to be like, uh, you know, you make them tea and all, but they're usually just like, no. Yeah. Fuck off. Like, just leave me alone. Yeah. I'm trying to lay fucking 500 bricks before dinner time here. Huh? <laughs> We've had some boys and make themselves fairly at home. Ah, but these are two, two chatty Cathy's in your gaff. You know, they'll come in, mum will bring the good, the good cups out. Boy will, boy will be under the sink and, you you know, your ma will be like, yeah. sliding over. <laughs> Would you be up this much? You make a good living out of this. Your brother Nicholas, come here. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> oh, sir, if my brother quarters, if my brother has you in a corner, you're there forever. Like your brother should work for the FBI. Oh, I send him into a room with some Taliban boys. Come here to me. What's in that bag, Bob? <laughs> 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 
Like, I don't know what was it. It was just so personable. I just opened up there. Come here to me. 72 virgins. What's that about? Where would you even get them? Hmm? <laughs> Every time you think the conversation is over, <laughs> he will just say, come here. And it's a brand new tab. And you're like, oh, fuck, you're having that for another 20 minutes. I'll be him in his deathbed. Oh, why? Oh, come here. Come here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he pretends to die. Come here to me. My last come here. <laughs> 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 That's the name of the book. Your brother should, uh, your career would go like that if your brother just left his career yeah. and decided to be in charge of yours. He wants to be. I think that is his dream at some stage. What is he, an old dentist? He owns an industry. Sure, yeah. I, sure let, let, let the staff run it. But you know the way they, that's like one of the top suicide jobs? I'd well believe it. Because, <coughs> you know, it is. <laughs> yeah, I've been a dentist. Let me see. Top suicide jobs. <laughs> Just gives you recommendations for how to do it. <laughs> Fuck us! <laughs> <laughs> the nation is still. That's what is it? Two thousand and two. Top suicide jobs. Yeah, a guy just fucking numbs his whole body up. <laughs> with every, the whole body up with like local anaesthetic, and then here's the top ten suicide jobs. <laughs> Number Here we one, go. we've done it all. Last week we covered the Bible. This week we're covering. <laughs> How you, best jobs to kill yourself. <laughs> That's like a ticket off the internet, no problem. The top jobs make you want to top yourself. Number one, medical doctors. <clears throat> Number two, dentists. Number two. Number three, police officers. Number four, vets. Number five, financial services. Dog vets or like army vets? Uh, it does not go into it. Uh, and then financial services, real estate agents, electricians, <laughs> lawyers. Number <laughs> Farmers? <laughs> That's it. I've milked my last teeth. I'm putting my head under a fucking cow's foot. Number 10, podcasters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> number 10, pharmacists. Yeah, I could. Yeah, that, they all make sense. They all make sense. I mean, a lot of those sound like more fun than, you know, like if I, like if I was, if I got the lunchtime in a call center. Chick, chick. You know, out uh, the fucking window. Do you know what? These are all my siblings' jobs. Yeah? Yeah. God, you may say, say make your peace with them. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> Just phone, phone your brother up. I mean, I mean how's, the, how's the business going? The flat's doing all right? The apartment's doing all right? Yeah. Optometrist is on there. I went for my first eye test at the weekend. Is it in there, or was that just a segue you made up? That was a segue I made up. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking <and> mirrors. <laughs> Vapes and mirrors. You would think by my segue game that I had this plan for 48 hours in advance, but no. I just roughed it. Here. <laughs> I had my first eye test the other day. Is it a bit? You did a bit? No, no, no. Right, 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 we'll Although see. I will say, whenever you go to... I've never done any tests, <laughs> right? I've had the odd blood test, but, you know, you don't have to do anything for that. You just sit there and have a jam needle on you. Mm -hmm. This here... It was like fucking, it was like the cube. There was like six wee mini games I had to play to show that I had decent eyesight. So the first one's pretty standard, you know, the, the, like, the big letters and they get smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I was shitting myself because she was like, can you just you read down what you're comfortable with now? And I took that as condescending. Yeah. So I got super competitive. You're like, I can read? And I was like, I'll show you that, you bastard. I can read. And I was like, so the top one was just a big massive E. So I was like, right, E. Then down to the second row, wee buns. Third row. Doing my sleep. Fourth row, starting to get a wee bit blurry. I'm yeah. starting to guess a wee bit. Okay. You know? And then she goes, Can you see that now? And flick the wee thing on me. And I was like, Oh, fuck, clear as day. Uh -huh. Then I was like, Maybe I am fucking blind. Mm -hmm. Next game, it was like a red. Next round. And a green square. Yeah. She would have like an icon on each of them. She's like, Where do you see the icon, Claire? Nailed that. Yeah. Wee buns. And then the last game was you sat with like a wee buzzer. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Right. She goes, put your chin on that chin rest there. And then immediately I thought of a video of yours from ages back where you described a vagina as a chin rest. And I just couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. And then she asked me what I was laughing at. I was like, ah, oh, just something to do. Don't worry about it. And I put my chin on the chin rest. And then head against the solar rest. And then, you know, if you'd have been there. Struggling, I, was it? <laughs> Struggling? <laughs> she literally had to, like, twist something at the side. Like, holy fuck. Uh, <laughs> it's an extender. <laughs> just to get your head in. So you go out and make it one of the eyes covered and then you're looking at this wee fucking orange light and then she gives you a buzzer and she's like, right, whenever you see a wee light flash there, just you click that. And I was getting super competitive about it. I was like, ch -ch -ch, and I was like thumping it too hard for what was needed. And then at the no, very end, she was like, 
that was great. And I was like, high score? What are we talking, Deidre? <laughs> that was great. <laughs> you got it attached to your purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aaron, that was fantastic. Whew. Yeah, you never see optometrist porn, do you? Look <laughs> it up! <laughs> We're in the place. <laughs> we talked about, I talked about that a couple of weeks ago, didn't I? The, the really hot girl checking my eyes when I was about 14. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought she was going to kiss me. <laughs> what, what's your, ch oh, the hub? Man's on the hub. Put my dick in a oh, this man. is uh, also an optometrist trip. Did me naughty. And that's just her blasting herself in the weight room or something. Mm. Or in the car after. But no, nobody's <laughs> done it. Nobody's done it. We're, we're, that's two gaps in the market we find porn wise. Oh, yeah. TSA and optometrist. TSA's bound to have been done before. And we tried it. We looked it up one day. We couldn't really find one Spanish one. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Though. But it was, it, I mean, the production value was shite because the guy just had like. It was just a room. It wasn't TSA. Yeah. You know, he's just like, there seems to be something in my bag. Any explosives? Any explosive? I'm about to bust. <sighs> <laughs> what about these dirty bastards, McDonald's? <laughs> Dude, so you got the eye test and then the eyes were good? She said, direct quote, 2020 vision. But that's not the best. Is there not Excuse something? Be is there not something better than twenty twenty now? No, I think they've changed the they've changed the grades. No, 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 no. it's the best. <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, that's the best. She said, "Use the best days in the country." <laughs> I've never seen one like. <laughs> best days in the country. She started covering up. She's like, "You X-ray from you here?" <laughs> <laughs> was she hot? <laughs> she was like, yeah. "Are you allowed to talk about your nutritionist?" Yes. Big man's fucking pro athlete over here. I don't fuck worry about it. Bruised up and everything. Bruised up. Um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I'm i very extreme as well. Yeah. So whenever I see... You're like, want to shift a few pounds near a scientist? Yeah. You know, I'll be like, uh, look up at my fitness plan. It's like, oh, the amount of calories you can have in a day and still lose weight is 2,100. So I will just go on a full hunger strike and be like, oh, I'm shifting. It's falling off me. Mm. And then I will just... But that's not healthy. You're not getting everything you need in there. And then you will just end up going back to being a fat because it's so handy. Mm. You know, you will crash. Being fat is handy, isn't it? That's so handy. Oh, no effort at all, man. It's great. Just close your eyes and push it in. It is bad, though, being a fat because it is the first sign of a person, like, not really having their shit together. Like, when you see someone on their fat, you're like, yeah, you don't. Uh, yeah, I heard that. Someone saying that on a podcast. They were like, you know, if you want to see what, she, you know, how someone is, what state is their body and their finances and their something else? Yeah, I probably heard that on the podcast too. Yeah, it's all it is. Listen to the podcast and then six months later, say it like I made it up. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally all my brain is. Yeah, it's just things are in the podcast. Depression is in the past, anxiety is in the future, and happiness is now. Yeah, that was a McCann original right there. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> they don't know me, son. I was in the gym the other day, and the, the one of the other coaches had. A bunch of like wee lads in who were like from a boxing club or something. Mm -hmm. You know, like t young teens, like 12, 13, 14. I don't know. It's hard to gauge the age of a child, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, one of the wee lads was just running around going, they don't know me, son. Oh, Colton Goggins? I was like, the wee man's on the Goggins already. He's only like 14. He's going to be a savage by the time he's 30. They don't know me, son. With that in his ear. Uh, did you hear the beef that he had with, is it your guy Crenshaw? Is it the guy with the, the, the patch on his eye? He was also like some sort of military vet. Oh, is that the guy that kept saying, like, you know, lost your job, good? No, that's Jocko. Oh, okay. These guys are all very intense. They are very intense. But I think the other guy was like, listen, I, I deal with actual heroes, you know, guys that got their fucking legs blown off and shit. Yeah. Not just a guy who jogs a lot. <sighs> shots fired. <laughs> well, yeah, no shots fired at Goggins. That's why I think he gives him no respect. Yeah. He's like, we, we were on the ground. Yeah. We were taking shots, and you're just, like, mentally tough or whatever. Imagine gay, you know. Imagine trying to do like a Goggins in an actual like ledger center, you know, where you're like lifting weights and screaming shit. Oh, if I was to grunt too hard, I'd give a bit of a side eye. They, like, they, on, they don't you know me, fat. son. Yeah, they don't know me, son. I mean, the step above is that the like the muscle mommy who will piss herself doing a deadlift. What? Seen a lot of clips of that. Dolls pushing themselves, dad left. Yeah, you know, like there'd be some obnoxious guy in like a commercial gym just being like, listen, it's the only place I can get it in. These fucking <laughs> clank. But then you get girls who are just like, yes, I'm only here to fucking get gains. And they do the big <laughs> sumo deadlift, like, and just fucking pish all over the floor because they can't control it. And they just go like, fucking, so this is what it's for, a place for lifting weights. You know the muscle mommies? Nah. Nah? No. Do you like a, a rip chick? <laughs> no. No. 
You want to uh, check the funny face? <laughs> V-Vase? <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Not really. Yeah. And I know boys that are absolutely shredded and they don't like it either. Yeah. And the words he said to me, I'm not going to mention his name. He goes, Do you ever, he goes, I look at some of these wee tiny ripped girls, look like a wee Jack Russell. And you're like, what's their funny like? He goes, is it like a wishbone out of a chicken? <laughs> Why would there be a correlation though between, you know, a woman's muscle and her fanny? It's all muscle, it's all tight, isn't it? She's, I have a, you know, it's the, like a cigar cutter. The you know, she's, she's 2% body fat with traps. Hashtag lips to grip. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> lips that snip. <laughs> Cut it off, bro. <laughs> the reason here you can be in the muscle mommies is because as a couple it'd be disgusting. Oh yeah. Oh, if I was gonna have a yoke girl, I'd be nightmare. If the you, memes would be oh, nonstop. God. If you were gonna have a fucking <laughs> if you were gonna have a crossfit girl no. and you're just coming in the bedroom at night, you know? No, there's two things I can't go out with as a muscle mommy and just uh, probably just an attractive one. She, she'd be like a cheese she'd be like a cheese grater. You're like a block of cheddar. Or no, just like someone who's like so hot that you're like, that's insane. Like, not even hot. I'm talking shredded. Yeah. Do you ever remember the Frankie Boyle joke? Talk, he goes, "If I had sex with Jessica Ennis, yeah, what was it? It'd be like pouring waffle batter on a waffle iron." <laughs> he's the best. At that shit. Oh, he's fucking dude, he's so good at that stuff. Yeah, like Scottish. He used to live near me in Scotland. Oh, yeah. And he used to just go on as we as we daily walks, obviously, you know, thinking about dirty jokes. I saw him in Edinburgh, just sitting on the bench by himself, taking it all in. I was like, fair play, eh? uh, Yeah, sure, we, we seen him across the road, and I was with Kieran, and he's a massive fan, obviously. And he was for, like, finishing his pastry and getting up and going across the street, and I was like, let me tell you something, Kieran, don't do that. Yeah, he wouldn't appreciate it. He would see you coming, and he would just get up and walk away. Yeah. Um, you know, but anyway, back to it. We're, we're ruling that out, muscle mommies. <laughs> Aaron doesn't want you. Sorry. No go zone. <laughs> no go zone. <laughs> I want a woman that take me to a drive through <laughs> Monday to Friday. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I like a I like a woman just to be just naturally kind of curvy. Yes. <laughs> yes. She got that gouge on her. <laughs> Too many baits. <laughs> you know, a couple of chocolates in front of the TV. Oh. I. You know what I mean? Oh. I. You know? Not like jumping up and being like, I have to go to the gym. No. Go for a wee walk. No. You know, do a couple of Davina McCalls in the living room. Oh, I. You know. I had Davina put you for your paces. Oh, she would, I. Eh? Yeah. Put it through the headboard? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is a wonder day. Uh, what were you, you, you going to bring up a second ago? So, big news. There's a gonorrhea outbreak at McDonald's. Wouldn't specifically <laughs> one of the Northern Ireland branches. Did it mention which? Shocking claims. Did it, <laughs> workers are speaking out. How does that come up in the, in the fucking uh, meeting room? Well, apparently there's been an outbreak due to sexual activity amongst the staff, which... Did they write sexual activity? Sexual activity? I thought you said sexual activity. <laughs> um, and it's made, by, it's made by claims from the workers who have spoken out. The boss, Big Mac himself, of the fast food giant <laughs> in the UK, has apologised after more than 100 <laughs> current and former employees alleged they had been sexually harassed or assaulted or subjected to racism or bullying. Um, but... See, to have an outbreak of gonorrhea, does that not mean that there's one, there's a time bike there scenario? Surely it's not just different people are bucking each other. Aye, someone walked in there with gonorrhea. Yeah. And started firing live ones all over the place. Yeah, they got a bad batch. A hundred of them? Well, you know what they say, all it takes is one apple so that, there was a, the whole place of gonorrhea. There was, a, there was a bit of mixed signals there. There was a, go a gonorrhea outbreak and then a hundred cases of sexual harassment. Oh yeah, on top of that, yeah. Well, they've they've looked at the gonorrhea and they've went, "What else is going on in here?" And then people were like, "Well, while we're here, this is also happening." Yeah. But to be fair, like you know, you can't say different times. No, I've seen some shit before where I'm like, ah, "It's pretty much harassment." In a you workplace? Know? Oh yeah. Or just at McDonald's? No, in a workplace. No, not at McDonald's. Because a McMuffin. <laughs> and then whatever you're, and then uh, and then uh, show me your tits. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes you pull up the drive through and you're like, God damn. Yeah. And McDaddy's. McDaddy. <laughs> John Depp. I fucking love that. You get free food if you work at McDonald's, right? You know? Probably, yeah. Yeah. You think someone's fucking the burgers? 
<laughs> but it's all teenagers, you know what I mean? So I, I someone told me, uh, I don't even know if I should say their name. Someone told me there was an outbreak of uh, gonorrhea in the teens. These days, no, they're in there. Ring them bosses these days. Vaping, gonorrhea, weed, gaming, twitching, twitching, S- scratching, From the gonorrhea, <laughs> scratching, <laughs> twitching, itching, oozing. Who am I, Eminem? <laughs> Did you see Ed Sheeran bringing out Eminem in Detroit? What? <laughs> what? He started. He started playing that like, riff from the start of like "Lose Yourself," ding, 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 and then he st- and then he sang the lyrics. Yeah, you know, knees weak, arms are heavy, and I was like, "Oh my god, fucking!" Did he do the wee intro where he's like, "If yeah, what's that?" No, he just launched into <laughs> it, and then Eminem came out. Nice. Who so sort of disguised? He could have been anyone these days. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? He had a beard, he had a hood up. He looked like he was an ISIS. You know when people have like claims of like certain celebrities have died and they've been cloned. I think you could very easily clone Eminem. Oh yeah, like Eminem looks like a Sims character that's had a on there. You know, he's like as generic of a white guy as it gets. Yeah, you know, pull the hat down, put a hoodie up. He's also not a fan of blinking. You know, yeah, he's got them very intense eyes. Well, I think he, you know, he used to be big into the old gear. Mm-hmm. He may or may not have got off it. He's probably on a bunch of other shit. Yeah, he's got them crack eyes. You no, know, he's like I used to be an addict, but I'm addicted to like the uh, game. <laughs> I thought they I thought they fell out. <laughs> Speaking of games, have you seen this uh, NPC thing I was trying to talk about earlier? What's what is this again? You're trying I, I don't to even know. Me, but what does that mean in gaming terms? Non-playable character. Aye, so people are you know like someone was like good at pretending they were in like fucking Grand Theft Auto and they'd like walk about in that style and run up the wall. You know, and shopping then, with my NPC girlfriend. <laughs> aye, this. and then you got this girl like on. On like live streams and stuff, just accepting wee tokens, going, thank you. Hmm. And we Japanese dude just ripping the pipe off themselves. Oh, she's got it. She's got it down. Is this a kink? What is this? It must. It must be getting that way. Your level is too low. Come back after. <laughs> oh, there's loads of fucking nerds. Now, see if my woman was in a shop. We have little boys with the trolleys. <sighs> She's got a... I'm oh, you got a hit her? <laughs> <laughs> if this was the 1920s, you'd be getting some skit. Well, yeah, he'd be like, if you think it is Grand Theft Auto, I will smack you. I, I'll treat you like an NPC. <laughs> can, can you a chainsaw? Oh, she's, she's got the good actions. I bet you she's in real life is like, you know, like at some dance school. But then it's it's not that one I've seen. There's a girl like on, a, on, on like a live stream thing and she's just like bobbing about like one of those characters and people are sending her money and she'd be, and she'd be like, oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And she can just get the wee moves down. Just these Forbidden Planet boys are tearing the hammer themselves. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's what they want, just a wee fucking, you know. Take my tokens. What do you call that movie? Ex Machina? Oh, like, yeah. You know, just like a wee robot car. Huh? I would have got fooled by that too. Hello. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'd have fell in love but with it, the robot. Who, who's the girl in X? What is it? Ma- Machina? Machina? Uh, X. Yeah. I heard Joe Rogan say it weird. What do you call the girl that plays the fucking uh, robot in that? She'd be like, Colin. Come into this little room. I'd be like, oh, no sweat. You know? I guess, you know, it's programmed to like, you ba- know. Bang a robot are. and die immediately. And what you like? Us, uh, Alicia Vikander. <laughs> Oscar Isaac plays Nathan. And Donald Gleason <laughs> is Caleb. McCann <laughs> presenting the next Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got here? Donald Gleason. Good fella. Uh, who was it? <laughs> Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac. You just read now. I, can, I definitely can't do that. So, so Noya Mazzino. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Now come up to the stage, Pat. Come on up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a couple of bad reviews, Pat. I thought it was great. A couple yeah. of one stars. Oh, come on. P- hey, also, if you're reviewing films and go like, you know, you may want to take a good look at yourself. Take you know, a good look at yourself. Maybe take up a hobby or something. Go bowling with the pals. Go bowling with the pals. Do something. None of these people play sports. I mean, calling bowling a sport is. Bowling is like. Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, he's G. But like the half of the crack in that is the fact that he is bowling. Like, look at this. The only big mistake in this movie is that... Shut up. 
I want to find a one star here for the crack just to see what a one star review of a pretty decent film looks like. But like, reviewing anything is mad. Unless Amazon really fucks you over with something, you know, it's okay to go out and get the rage out. But if you're reviewing a restaurant especially, do people still do that? People still yelp? Only for bad shit. Okay, here we go. So this was sent in by Elizabeth M. One star. She's hot. She's furious. Women as objects. Naked woman as props. Dead woman as scenery. Check. Fetishized Asian woman who doesn't speak English and naively offers the male lead sex. Check. <laughs> Weird sexual touching between two women for absolutely no reason. Check. An uncomfortably long scene where the female lead strips and admires her body in front of a mirror. Check. Was this a movie or the director's cut, cut wet dream? Absolutely pathetic that men are allowed to write like this and nobody calls them out for it. I mean... Yeah, but the whole point of the movie is that, like, the the AI is, like, so sophisticated that the guy starts to, like, fall for the thing. Yeah. So at the end of the day, men are stupid. <laughs> yeah. But also, as well, to be fair to her now, in some cases, not in this movie, I didn't think, but you do watch some things sometimes and you're like, was there any need for tits in that? Like, oh, yeah. Like, like I'll take the tits, but like what's def- this doing for the plot? There's definitely a few movies, like detective dramas, where they go, let me see her. And they go, with the body bag and open it up. And she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you're like, I mean, like <laughs> yeah, if you want to like... <laughs> If you had the, like, you know, like, idea body, you know, they zip it open, you're like, they zip it back, hold on, I didn't even, hold on, is it her? I didn't even look at her face. I can play that right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no makeup, no special effects at all. Opens the back, Jesus Christ, fucking boo for that. <laughs> zip that back up, the fucking burn it. You're on set, and they're like, is that a dead body? <laughs> is that dead? And then you're like, nah, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I don't have a shower in a couple of days. Stinks of strawberry kiwi and links. <laughs> and bag vinegar. <laughs> <coughs> oh, my health. I, could, I might be getting zipped up quicker than I think. <laughs> Get that big bag in. Get that 4XL bag. Imagine me in a body bag and you lay it down, you just see the wee fucking. <laughs> You just see the wee golf course on top. <laughs> Probably don't put your face down. No, but if they did, why, why would they put your face, face down? Ass up. That's the way I like to get zipped up. <laughs> imagine, imagine you just go into the fucking morgue and it's just your back and ass. And like, you'd be like, Terry, Terry. <laughs> I know it's your first week, but put him fucking on his back. At least you dickhead. We're gonna have to take you off the placement cup. Now they open the bag, you be on your side. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> first thing. Oh my god, that is gonna be such an inside joke when you die. What? Well, six boys. <laughs> six boys carrying a coffin on its side. <laughs> six twelve. <laughs> oh, that's such a that's such a bit of inside banter there. Oh fuck. Lowering it into the ground on its fucking side. My mouth still doesn't know what it means, thank God. <laughs> oh my gosh. Should exactly wanted to know that I wank Southpaw, you know? Southpaw, yeah. <laughs> Number. Lying on one. Uh, oh God. That is fucking brutal. Uh, oh, we're doing a big show. Oh, well, fuck I. Oh, why? If there's any motherfucking tickets left, drum roll. Yeah, they're in the Patreon today. We're doing the Waterfront Hall on the 1st of September. 1st of September. 1st <laughs> of September. First of September. First of September. Come on down. Waterfront Hall. Uh, That's going to be good now. Uh, I'd like to fucking think so. It'll be a great night for comedy. I'm going to be like, I need a fucking giant screen for me to attach a laptop to, and I'm not paying a fucking penny for it. Uh, that's going to be 40 grand. Oh, well, be. <laughs> probably. They'll probably be like, oh, yeah, it, you know, it's going to be seven grand for us to pull the curtains back from over it. Yeah. You know? Ugh. We're doing a big show. We're excited about that. Just judging on the instantaneous sellout we had at Lavery's and the, the amount of people messaging me. Yeah. You know, and uh, the amount of tags we've got online. Why not? I mean, we could be talking about it right now. It's sold out. I know that'd which, be nice. Which would be absolutely <laughs> up. Lovely, wouldn't it? Let's manifest that. Let's manifest that. It's pretty good. Go. That's good. That's pretty good. Susan. Uh, Susan. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, come here. I have a wee test. Come here, OG. Come here. I have a wee test for you now. 
Uh, is this an autism test? This is a wee autism test now, but this is like... I'm going to have to pouch up for this. This is... How many of these do you do? Because I watch this now and I was like, I literally do all these. Give me another pouch too. Go ahead, make it a double. Is there a fucking... Do you think he's growing no, trees? No, There's no, a pube in this? I, just, <laughs> I knew it's no. not like... Yeah, it's not a pube. I think it's just a wee... I think it's an eyelash. It's long and curly. Go ahead. Do, it, actually, it actually has armpits. Anyhow, so... Test me for the tism. How many of these do you do, right? Love doing that there now. Big fan of this. Mm-hmm. Enjoy that now. Mm-hmm. I don't have the facilities to do this, but I probably would do that. No running water in Oma. Love rolling up the, the rucksack. Ah, oh, classic. Lovely. I don't do this now personally. I dare say this isn't official... <laughs> no, nope. you know, m- online no. me- medical testing for autism. This is also autism, as they say, is a spectrum. Yes, you know. So there's love. I do it all the time. Let the water go through your hands. Yeah, it'll do. We circle. I've done that a few times too. George of the Jungle shit. I don't think... Well, that's th- posted by... Um, I don't think a medical professional put this up, to be honest with you. This was by the Autistic Voices. If you're listening audio-wise, the cat. there's just there's a bun- there's a series of shots here of people doing just like little things. You know, like kicking a shopping bag as you're walking, bouncing off your knees. They're all nice wee things for yourself. Making a little circle at the top and letting the water go through you. Oh, that's great. Crushing a tin. Or or no, around like, your foot. That'll make you present is just letting the water flow through your, your awesome. finger like, oh, it's great. It's great. Get a job. <laughs> Get a fucking job. And do something else with your life. He's back to Popeye laughing with the pouches in. <laughs> click on that first, click on that top video I sent you that. Do we need to hear this? What do you call this rapper? Turn the laptop up. Turn it up. Turn it up, turn it up. And then take it off mute. Oh, for fuck, you're going to have to reload oh, Jesus this. Christ. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Never mind the rest of the test. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched and eat a nigga ass. We be eating niggas ass today. There's a girl turned up at the last bomb squad live. <laughs> trying to get my coochie stretched. That's wild chat to have at that level of audio. But the, the, the thing, the thing, she, well, she's, she's, uh, she's faded off the fucking Prosecco. Uh, check out the, the white folk on the left there, just horrified. Oh, yeah. Like, click on that again. We you see this girl's face. This is the middle of London, like. Mm-hmm. She thinks she's about to get robbed. I'm trying to get my coochie stretched and eat a nigga ass. Eat a nigga ass. We be eating nigga ass today in London. Period. That's the dangers of afternoon brunch. Oh, yeah. You know, the mimosas kick in. She's, she's been on a bottomless brunch. She Get my coochie stretch. She also not said Buckingham Palace there. Just one yeah. of the teeth. Yeah, and a load of fucking tourists just being like, what is this? Until you see she runs into some British men. Oh, yeah. Trying to get my coochie stretched. Oh. We figured up, bruv. British lads. <laughs> we like, what do you figure up? Get that gyoza. <laughs> Pull your dick out with chopsticks. Trying to eat an N word's ass. Yeah. Sure, who isn't? Who is that woman? I don't know. I've never heard of her in my life. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's main character syndrome, isn't it? As, as they say. Oh, yeah. She's just, nothing else exists in the world for her. I, you know what, though? I kind of admire that. There's something to be admired about that. She doesn't give one fuck. Yeah. One ounce and of it, a it's fuck. It's good, like. Yeah, in a way. In a way. Now, the next video I sent you is a beautiful rendition. Um, of a classic yeah go ahead there's a lot of skill involved in this maybe mom walk along the road the only road that I have ever known don't know where it goes but it's home to me and I walk alone (laughs) (laughs) I was waiting for that I was like what's he gonna do with that though Man's beatboxing when it's absolutely got no call for it whatsoever. Uh, um, that's a lonely road, all right. Here's I'm Still Standing by Elton John. I'm still standing. <laughs> beatboxing might be the loneliest road it is to walk down as a man. <laughs> yeah. It's beatboxing and magician. And nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you get all free with the trifecta. Yeah. Of pedophilia. <laughs> 
A magician who beatboxes and loves kids. <laughs> beatboxing and parkour. Yes, Liz! What are you doing? <laughs> I laughed in a guy's face one time outside a club. Someone was like, he's like UK champion beatboxer now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good for you, bro. I would pay to go to the championships. <laughs> it's, you know what you need to watch? It's like, them boys that do like an instructional. Yeah. So they're deadly serious. Being like, yeah, so you get the fucking down here like. <laughs> Did you make a whiplash movie, but about beatboxing? Yeah. It's not quite my tempo. Guys slapping him on the back. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat pushing off on them. All those fucking mad montages. Mate, could they eat us? No, oh, fuck it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> I just want to do the beatbox up your ass. <laughs> That's the only thing I want to do when I see a beatboxer. Stretch my ass over their face. <laughs> Put a needle weight in there, lad. Jing, <laughs> <laughs> it's like whenever you put your phone in a cup and then. <laughs> <laughs> someone beatboxes up your asshole you don't see a lot of beatboxers do that actually just put it in someone's ass just have different vessels yeah wow and then just pick up like a fucking empty coke can wow <laughs> you know see what it does to the acoustics get the delay pedal he's got a big pipe big bit of plumbing oh <laughs> yeah it's when they throw in a word you know they'll go like wow <laughs> yeah, actually saying bass. Is, yeah. is great. And it's always badass music that people are beatboxing. Yeah. You know, no one's like, this is a song I wrote on the recorder when I was in school. Yeah. You know. Hot cross bonds, bro. Yeah. Free blind mice. <laughs> Free my boys, blind mice. <laughs> Free blind mice. <laughs> Imagine your rap name was Blind Mice. Free, free, free my boy Blind Mice. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Uh, oh, that's good. What other videos? I want to. I want us to do a bit of a, an in detail review of. Uh, I seen TLC and I got excited. Yeah. Yeah. So, they make so the you're talking. Shows. You're talking about. You're talking about getting a nutritionist. Mm -hmm. Soccer. Okay. This, Sorry, Kaylin. This is all you need. I need toilet paper from the second I get up in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes before I even brush my teeth. The moment I get up, especially on a beautiful day like this, the birds are chirping, it's nice out. Beautiful spring day, like what's better to go with some toilet paper? Basically, I eat toilet paper like all day, every day. It's so good, like it really like, it hits the spot. And guess what? Toilet paper has zero calories and it won't even give you a hangover. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's clean. Imagine putting that in your mouth on this bar. Keena eats up to four rolls of toilet paper per day. What? I mean, you never have to wipe your ass again. It's almost 14,000 pounds over the past 20 years. You're shitting out the wipe. No sauce or nothing. <laughs> Stray feed. No peas or onions or nothing. Keena, put a bit of garlic mayo on that the fuck, would you? Uh, at least butter it. <laughs> no <laughs> sacks or fuck all. Sacks or? Sacks or? Some people might say also, that- Also, pause that. Why is it so crunchy? Is it like the cheaper or the, the better? I want one that's- I want one, it's 99p for 24 of them. And I this like- <laughs> I like it crunchy. And they say white people like bland food, you know? Uh, yeah. But on season shit tickets? No old bear, nothing on that. <laughs> the paper's the same, it's all created equally, and it's not. Oh, wait, she's got it. Now, I had questions, and now she's about to answer. There's a science to this now. It's a difference between <laughs> one ply toilet paper and two ply. One ply is better. Like, you don't have to go through all the stress. This may be a dumb question. What's a ply? So, like, if you, you know where you can, like, peel a bit of toilet roll apart, and it's, like, two bits? I always wondered why they did that. Well, why can you peel? Like, who's using a single ply of toilet? If you go to wipe your ass with it, it will break through. Like, half the price. <laughs> but like, why? 
why can you do that? I mean, my, my thoughts were... This you know, is why I stay up at night. The, the one she's eating seems crunchy. Like, it's a cheap like train station toilet paper. Mm. And it's like one ply or two ply, maybe. You know, did you ever get the toilet paper? It's like greaseproof paper. And you're like, I'm just wiping this up my back. Are you saying, like, you know, there's different quality? Like, if she's going to treat herself, she'll go to the Marriott and take some of their bog roll? No, I'm just, you know, she could buy it in a shop. But she's hardly having, like, fucking... Andrex velvet touch, whatever that yeah. you know, one's real soft. Should Triple be st- velvet. Should be stuffed. Yeah. Oh, why? You'd be like, oh fuck, I had two velvets. Would she be fond of the wet wipes as well? I don't know. We'll see. Munch in a box of can do. Oh come on, Kena. They're trying to rip it apart. One fly just like eating a PB and J without the crust. You know, toilet paper is not meant for human consumption. <laughs> You down on me, Doctor Science. Though. That's why she kicked you to the curb. Yeah, you waste man. Ex fiance. It doesn't break down in your body. It's gross, man. They don't know the taste, the way it makes your mouth water, that crunch you get when you just stuff a bunch in your mouth. Just like a really good cotton candy. Mmm. That's the way. I love when people eat food and they do this here. Is it to say, oh, I'm getting a notion of something? And she's doing that, eating toilet roll. Like, ooh. There would be some ASMR boys ripping the bulb off themselves. Oh, yes. That's S- how much? 2700 bro. 2700 on bog roll? It's a lot of blues and greens there. <laughs> Should have been a... Bad now during the pandemic. Oh Jesus Christ! She'd have been fucking panic buying already. That would have been like a like a famine for her. Oh, <laughs> there's a bog roll blight going. You know that feeling like after Thanksgiving, you ate all your favorite foods and you just sitting on the couch and you just relaxing. Like that's what I feel after I eat toilet paper. <laughs> I eat it every week. <laughs> At work, in the car, at the nail salon. Sir, now that's. Is that we that we that we Korean ladies fucking going back and slobbering a bit? The crazy bitch eat toilet paper. Koreans have the nail game locked down. Oh yeah, she got them clickers. You know. The well, do you know nails. why? Because she doesn't even have the wiper brush. <laughs> She can have absolute talons going on. She's like, I don't put this anywhere in my asshole. <laughs> what? Toilet paper. Huh? Toilet paper. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought it was a napkin. You thought you were a haven for a second there? Uh, oh, it's only toilet paper, yeah. <laughs> thought you were mentally ill. I'm laughing because to me it's just so weird, you know, why is she eating the toilet paper and continuously putting on her mouth without even drinking water? Yeah, my main concern would just be it's so dry. Like, <laughs> I love how she said that. She's not even hydrated, you know, she's just tearing through rolls of bog room. When, like, people see me eating toilet paper, like, I'll get a few, like, weird stares. Like, I even, like, seeing one person, like, pull their phone out and, like, try to record me. But I don't care. Everybody has their weird thing that they do, and that's just mine. What's your weird thing you do? Do you have a toilet paper-esque little thing you like to do for yourself? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think anything levels to that, like. No, I don't think so. Is she doing like breakfast, lunch, and dinner with this shit, or is this like an after meal thing? That's what I'm thinking. Like, is she is she like, you know, like some people go mad and they bring, you know, like Diona said, she brings ketchup in her bag Aye. everywhere. Yeah. You know, is she, is, will she go meet her mate for a toasty? Yeah. And be like, let's get the real business out here. Just I and stick it into the toasty. I'd be getting creative with it. I'd be making a salad. Oh yeah, wrap it around some sushi. Yeah. <laughs> sort of makes sense. <laughs> California toilet roll. Like, does she wipe her actual hole and be like, what a shame. Oh, yeah. You know, what a fucking shame. What a waste. If the next scene, she's like, I wipe my ass with cabbage leaves. Because <laughs> I couldn't per- possibly be wasting toilet paper yeah. on my actual asshole. TLC have a gift for just finding mental cons. Yeah. 
You ain't got to, what do you ain't got to, you ain't, you ain't just trying to make a bit of money. I mean, did I, I mean, there was one scene there where she swallowed it. Yeah. Did she? Yeah. I knew that was like, that was supposed to be like an old trick for like supermodels and stuff when they were trying to, you know, like not make them put on weight at all. They did toilet paper? And they were like, yeah, just need a, need a roll of bog roll. Got no calories in it, fills you up. I uh, but neither does like salary or something, you know. Mm. You dig something else. And always got water, water in it. You'd be bloated. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Just eat that shit, real. I'm, di- I'm, di- I mean, I'm dying to see what the shits look like. Papier mâché. Yeah. <laughs> like you've pulped a fucking pulped a book. <laughs> uh, this doll's just shit now. Trilogies. I wonder, you know, some days you're in your house, you open the, you open the cupboard, and you're like, ah, fuck, what am I gonna do with spaghetti hips and you know, a, 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 like a bottle of mustard? Yeah. You got no food in the house. Yeah. We should be like, I'm starving, and just like tear into a fucking OK magazine. Yeah. It's all a hat. I'll just grab something quick before I go out. What yeah. is it? Wee box of travel hankies. Yeah. I put them in the wee travel bag for her going on the plane. Aye. Mental. 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 Absolutely mental. People are fucking nuts. Did you have anything else to show me? No, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And we are fifty-nine minutes thirty seconds exactly. Oh Jesus Christ! Um, have you I'm time? Have you time to play that video of the boxer pulling her tits out? Oh why? Oh, always time for that. The I mean, always room for dessert. The world of combat sports has gone to shit. You know, no one cares about. You want to be a fighter? Just get really famous and then tell people you want to fight. Now, no one wants to watch actual trained oh, you bastard, you. trained professionals. This girl won a fight and just pulled her tits out. Now I'm trying to see. Um, oh, she's got an OnlyFans. Oh, she's yeah. an OnlyFans star. No shit. Yeah, but I didn't know. You that's know, why I just, I just thought it was a heat of the moment thing. Pull the tits out. That's why she was so cool. We're just pulling her norks out. Yeah. Uh, you won't get that on YouTube, will you? Did anyone see the video of McGregor? Like, apparently went to a funeral in Liverpool. No. What happened there again? There's some sort of skirmish. Well, like a row? Yeah, some sort of fight, and then he was film, <laughs> filmed phone footage of him leaving the building very quickly and getting in a Range Rover and scooting out. Way! Yeah. We'll not put this in now. She wins the fight. There we go. Look at this referee trying not to look. Look at the cameraman. She, made right. a, she, blew, she blew the roof off the place. Shout out to that referee's girlfriend because that man was looking anywhere but them tits. Here you see here, look. Huh? <laughs> look at that, look at that control, look. No, no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The tit- then, like, <laughs> <laughs> Show me the guys. Look at the very start, he's like, he's like looking anywhere but the, look. Yeah. No, don't agree with us. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. no point in this. No, no, no. Look at the ropes, count the ropes. How many ropes is uh, there? What color is the ropes? Speaking of ropes. <laughs> Be th- throwing ropes. <laughs> Her tits don't move an inch, too. They make fake titties. This is an autism thing. Uh, slowly dragging <laughs> the thing and watching the titties bounce. Something quite therapeutic about this. Man scrubbing the tits. <laughs> There's no movement there at all, hardly. Yeah. Rock solid tits. This guy's fucking Twitch streaming. Yeah. More of that, you know. More of that. Get that out in uh, more sports, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's obsessed with her brother. Don't know how that popped up. What website are you on, man? Fleshed? <laughs> Fleshed? That's getting a bit fucking... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. What, what an aggressive title for a port. This sounds like someone in Omer wrote it. Putting the girlfriend's throat to the test? <laughs> <laughs> New vlog. Link in bio. Are you watching it? Are you clicking on it? No, I'm excited of it. Yeah, we better go. Fucking... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a quinceanera. Before it descends into chaos, McCann's got to get a flight. He's going to... But is it a quinceanera? A quinceanera. Is yeah. that not for, like, a teenager? No, I don't know if she said it jokingly or whatever, but it is, like, a Latina birthday, and I have to do a dance. That's why he's wearing the fancy pants. I have to do a wee dance. I have to go the night. They're doing a choreograph meeting. You know, I'm going to be pulling all sorts of ships. You know. If there was ever a time for you to do a vlog, it's now. Yeah. Oh, I'm swift. Meccanio hits. Uh, what? What's? What's the? She sent a full video. Of where's the, she from? What's her? What's her Latina heritage? I don't know. I know she's from Calif. I know if she's from originally California, but I don't know what the Latina heritage is. Sorry, kid. Well, you failed already. Sorry. You failed already. 
do some research. Hopefully there's just some decent food in there. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll dance. Not a flat ass in the room. Yeah. Rind and brine, let's dance. <laughs> Put that throat to the test. <laughs> that should be a rap song. <laughs> Put my dick in a man. I can't. Later on. <laughs> When's this buffet open? <laughs> <laughs> I did the video as well. Someone's like proper like slow dancing. Yeah. You, know? you bricked up with someone's, be, someone's auntie. I'm going to be so sexy. Sir. I'm going to have three buttons undone in the shirt. What, what are you wearing? Head. What are you wearing? I'm wear that. Big pointy cowboy boots and a hat? No, sir. I'm going to wear the fucking vans and wee shirt and all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Royal. Royal? Yeah. Crying. Royal. <laughs> Diamond mace. Yeah. <laughs> you, what do you, should, you should go in your like, uh, you know, like your sort of traditional wear. You know, you should turn up on a tweed flat cap. Yeah. You know, pair of wellies. Yeah. yeah, even some kind. Yeah. Everyone be, and then everyone you won't have to have the conversation. Do you faith in me as a dancer? No. Yeah. Well, join join us next week. <laughs> <laughs> do you faith in me as a dancer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have faith in you to like just not leave your backpack in my car every fucking time. <sighs> right, we're, we're faded off the pouches. <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. If there's any tickets left for the waterfront, get them. If you want an extra podcast for every fucking podcast you hear, get on to uh, Patreon. patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod. We're sliding over to the Patreon right now, fucking pouched up. Got these over there. Get over there. To get fuck. over there to fuck now. Not immediately, it's out on a Thursday, so do give it a day or two. Aye. Let it cook. One to two working this. Let it cook for a day or two, but we're out of here. Cheers for listening and all the best. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, how do you say bye-bye in Spanish? Adios. Adios, bastards. Put my dick in a man. There we are. I'm not moving. Straight on the page. <laughs>